A lot of people are having rapture dreams, visions, and revelations, but the Bible actually warns us to be careful of those, especially regarding prophetic events. What am I talking about? 2 Thessalonians 2. I actually want to read it to you in the Amplified because it makes it so clear. So this is 2 Thessalonians 2. Now in regard to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our gathering to him, we ask you brothers and sisters not to be quickly unsettled or alarmed either by a so-called prophetic revelation of a spirit or a message or a letter alleged to be from us to the effect that the day of the Lord has already come. Let no one in any way deceive or entrap you for that day will not come unless the apostasy comes first. That is the great rebellion, the abandonment of the faith by professed Christians and the man of lawlessness is revealed, the son of destruction, the antichrist, the one who is destined to be destroyed, who opposes and exalts himself so proudly and so insolently above every so-called God or object of worship so that he actually enters and takes his seat in the temple of God, publicly proclaiming himself that he is God. Now that's a mouthful, but basically these people in the Thessalonian church were told, oh, the rapture already happened. You're in the day of the Lord's wrath and they're freaking out. And so Paul says, hey, 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 don't worry. The day of the Lord, which includes the rapture, is not going to happen until the great falling away and the Antichrist is revealed when he sends the temple and says that he's God at the midpoint known as the abomination of desolation. So anytime you see somebody's dream that includes anything that's not in that order, I automatically throw it out. Why? Because I never <laughs> see viral dreams of people being in the tribulation like everyone. <laughs> I never see viral dreams of somebody resisting the mark of the beast. I never see viral dreams of the great apostasy. Where are all the viral dreams coming from? Oh, the rapture happens and they see their family left behind and they yell from the cloud, don't take the mark of the beast. I'm serious. Like I literally looked at a dream like that on TikTok a little while ago. And so I'm, I'm not trying to make fun. I know I'm being a little silly here, but seriously, like, isn't it a little sus that all of these dreams don't follow 2 Thessalonians 2, 1 through 4? Literally, I've never seen not one <laughs> that involves Christians having to face the Antichrist, resist the mark of the beast, and go to jail for it or be persecuted. Because those dreams are not like very viralicious. They're kind of depressing <laughs> and people don't want to hear them. And so I'm not going to go as far to say that everyone that publishes these dreams are faking it for money and attention and fame, although I think a lot are. But I will say that, you know, according to this passage, even some of these people may genuinely be getting a deceiving spirit that is giving them these dreams because that deceiving spirit knows that they want to be popular. They want to be viral. They know that they're going to rush to YouTube or TikTok and upload it. And then they know that those dreams are going to reach millions because they do. So I would just caution you guys to be really careful about dreams and revelations. I mean, if I had a dollar for all of the dream and visions, you know, related to a pre-tribulation rapture that I've seen, I'd be rich right now. Not really, but you get what I'm saying. We've got to be really, really careful with those.